road again. Yay! I keep thinking that I'm singing that Willie uh, Nelson song. On the road, road again. again. <laughs> just can't wait road to get again. on the road. Anyways, um, yeah. So we just left the Homewood. Is it Homewood Suites? Yeah. Homewood yeah. Suites. Homewood Suites by Hilton in Moab, and we had a fantastic stay. I loved it there. Got better sleep. Um, yeah, I got you know. I don't know. I just feel a little bit more alive, mm -hmm. rejuvenated. Yeah, I really loved it there. It was yeah, great. it was a great place to stay, close to the park, national park. Kuma loved it. Yeah, we yeah. we give it four and a half out of five stars there. Yeah, it was awesome. So today we are heading to uh, Denver, and it's uh, five and a half hours, so not that bad of a drive. And uh, we're staying in downtown at Hotel Indigo. And this is actually, this might be my first time staying at a Hotel Indigo. I think me too. I don't think I've yeah. ever stayed at Indigo. But I see them, well, you know, everywhere when I go into downtown location. Because they're known to be like, kind of like a boutique downtown hotel. Like, pretty kind of hip. Um, so I do notice them here and there when I'm, you know, traveling somewhere in the city. So I'm a little bit excited. I'm not a little bit. I'm kind of excited to see, you know, what, what all the rage is about about the Indigo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me too. And plus it's like uh, pet friendly. And actually, they're known to be pet friendly, so um, we'll see what they offer for dogs there. Some hotels don't offer anything, and some offer a little bit of something. And since they kind of advertise that they are pet friendly, I wonder if they'll like actually add anything special for them. Yeah, I'm kind of curious too, because the one we just did, they didn't do anything. Like, yeah. So you got to prepare yourself with like all the bowls, which we already do anyways. But if you're expecting every hotel that's dog friendly to like have dog bowls and beds ready for you, you're going to be in for a big surprise because not all hotels do that. Yeah, I mean, I never expect that, which is funny because Candy was saying before when we were staying at the West End, I was like, oh no, I always expect that. <laughs> like, well, no, not all hotels do that. It's like, yeah, you pay this, you know. Because that's why I thought the pet fee is no, for, it's you not. Know? Yeah, it's a misconception, I think. So yeah, the pet fee is just for like, you're bringing your pet and they might cause a mess, so that's what you're being tagged on for. Yeah. We're gonna arrive there at 2.18 p.m. So that's central time zone now. We were in the mountain, or we are still in the mountain time zone, so it's an hour ahead. Yeah, we might get the, a look. we always take breaks and stuff, so even though it says five and a half hours, it might take us like an extra hour. Maybe, but it is like a little bit shorter distance than normal. Like usually our drives have been seven to eight hours. Yeah. Um, besides the, I don't know, Capitol Reef to Arches National Park drive, but um, yeah, so since it's like less than six hours, it might be like attacking on 30 minutes today. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Once we got on at I-70, uh, there wasn't, for a long stretch there, there aren't any service stations, like no gas, no restrooms, for 65 miles, so be aware of that. Once we hit Colorado, it was exit 26 that started having some services. And from then on, from 26 to like exit 42, every exit had gas stations, food, lodging, so you don't have to worry about it then. And then now I'm coming up on another exit. It's a tiny one. Yeah. Looks like one gas station. Looks like one Exxon. This one's kind of high the price. So last one I saw was like two twenty five. Oh, this one's at two forty five. Okay. So yeah, I think after this one, whatever big exit uh, I see with a lot of services, that's probably where I'm gonna stop to get some gas and use the restrooms and all that. Um, might even get something to eat um, to get some cheap fast food if they ha if they have yeah. good options there. It's always like things that we don't like, like. Burger King or something. Or Wendy's. <laughs> or Wendy's. Uh, not Wendy. What's one of the other ones? We don't really Subway. Subway. <laughs> I mean, I know we'll be eating in Denver anyway, but it's just nice to have like cheaper food <laughs> on, yeah, the road. on the road. It's easier to eat too. It's easier, yeah. yeah. And it kills time as you're eating and driving. Yeah, well. my favorite is just like I rarely ever eat McDonald's unless if I'm doing something like this. So I actually kind of look forward to McDonald's when I'm on road trips. I never yeah. eat it. So. Yeah. 
I do like McDonald's. I just always get their kids meal, chicken, big nuggets. Yeah. You always get like um, I Big like Mac, their huh? Big Macs a lot, and I'm not usually a burger person at fast food places. I actually don't like that much fast food restaurants. I would say Whataburger, of course, my favorite. Yeah, I like Whataburger. Uh, it's but my favorite. even though the burger burgers, is in the name, we like their chicken we strips. We like their chicken strips. Yeah, <laughs> we have this area we're in right now in Colorado. That's cool. Wow, there's like a dam right there. It's really gorgeous, like high mountains or rocks, cliffs, whatever they are again. Um, probably like cliffs, rocks. Cliff, cliff rocks. rocks. <laughs> Not a mountain. Cliff yeah, rock. cliff rocks. Uh, I think we're around exit 40 something. Last I saw. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've been taking a nap, so um, I haven't been awake the past hour. Well, I've been kind of in and out. Yeah. It's good to take a nap yeah. to relax a little bit. Ooh, Lap. tunnel! Sorry. Lap, tunnel time! Sorry. Let's see how long it is. So it says exit, or mile marker 51. So we're like in that exit 45 to 50 area where it looks really gorgeous. Oh, and then prior to entering Colorado, or some of Colorado too, um, the speed limit was 80 miles per hour, which reminded me of Texas, which I like, because I love going 80 miles per hour. Really? I don't like it. It's I too love fast it. for me. I love, well, especially on a straight road like that, where there's absolutely nothing. I like 70. Yeah, I mean, that's why average, I think, is 70. 80 just is a little bit too much for me. Yeah. I get a little bit nervous with 80. 80 is Although fast. Although I end up going 80 a lot of times, I just... I don't know. And whenever I see myself going A, I'm like, oh, I need to slow down. It just seems too fast for me. <laughs> no, I get it because, like I said, when I was driving in Texas, like 80 seemed like so fast that I was going under a lot of times because I'm not used to it. <laughs> by exit 74 for some gas and food <laughs> but just earlier I was saying like yeah I don't get anything else besides you know Whataburger and Chick-fil-a and McDonald's well guess what I got Wendy's well there was no other option there was like basically just the Wendy's there <laughs> yeah there really was nothing else but that and I was getting hungry so I was like you know what I'll just do it I'll get a Wendy's cheeseburger and fries I couldn't do it, so I just had my leftover chicken salad from last year. Yeah, but yeah, this area is still gorgeous. I mean, Colorado, I think, in general, is gorgeous everywhere. We were actually surprised by the weather when we walked out oh, in the 60s. Yes, yeah. I was like, oh, I was still expecting, like, high desert, like, it's going to be, like, 90 degrees when we step outside, and it was in the 60s, so it felt so refreshing when we stepped out to, the, like, start pumping gas. Yeah. Also, I forgot to know, if you're looking for weed on this trip in Colorado, there is a huge dispensary store there, and they have an express drive-through. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like, wow, it's like people people love their weed here. And even before we got to that stop, you can see like there's other ones on different yeah. exits, and there's advertising like, yeah, stop here for your. They don't say for your, you know what, but they just show the sign. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> pretty crazy. Different world in Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> in Denver and Candy is going through traffic. I'm glad she's driving because I wouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> I hate big city traffic. I mean I could but I would panic. Whereas Candy is like I'm used to this. I'm from Cali. <laughs> or, or LA. LA really. <laughs> yeah I mean I don't enjoy this at all but 
I have more practice, I guess. Yeah. Take the exit, then turn right onto 20th Street. Are you doing okay? Doing okay back there? Turn right. We're almost there, okay? Well, we're staying in downtown Denver. I believe it's near the Union Station, which is a cool place where they have uh, lots of restaurants, cafes, and they actually have a hotel in there too. And it's also um, a train station as well. Because I visited, gosh, like maybe five years ago now. Right. Turn right, then arrive at your destination. Okay. Oh, that must be that big one. Turn right onto Wawata Street, then turn right. It's very industrial like here. Yeah. That's like in the same Turn right here. Okay. The destination is on your right. Hotel and Degar Denver downtown. I'll just go to parking. Yeah. Arrive. Denver. Denver, Colorado. So we're in the right in the middle of everything and our view is amazing. We did pick a room with the view and seriously like we're surrounded. It's almost, it's like a 180 view. Yeah. Not quite 360 but almost a 180. <laughs> yeah. Of downtown Denver. <laughs>